delegates who have come across from across the world and uh, from different colleges and schools of Hyderabad. A uh, very good evening to all. We welcome uh, all, uh, you know, everyone to our Future Scientists Forum launch event today, the Curtain Raiser. 6D Varsity uh, over the last few years has been operating as SOIL, School of Innovation and Leadership. And we have uh, rebranded ourselves as 6D Varsity from Feb 2024. So 6D Varsity has, uh, you know, this been operating on the mission of creating a million scientific research community, uh, you know, for across all the age groups from all the professions for this century. And from this part of the world, and I, sub I know I thank every uh, one who's been supporting this initiative in the last few years. And uh, today, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just quickly start off with uh, explaining what Future Scientist Forum is all about and why this is the need of the hour. And then we'll proceed with the, you know, our guests, you know, uh, sessions and followed by a keynote, uh, you know, by Dr. Arthi Raja, who has flown all the way from Florida. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, and then we'll have a panel discussion in the second half of the day after the networking break. And then, you know, uh, with, with some surprise elements, uh, you know, that is coming away uh, throughout the session. Okay, so, so I thank our super mentors, Dr. Krishna Lagaru and uh, uh, Suchitra Lagaru, who's been a guiding force for the last 20 to 25 years since we were, you know, in the school to today, uh, who's been a guiding force in the personal life as well as professional life. And today, whatever we are doing, basically, you know, the, the kind of value system to the kind of commitments, it's maybe, you know, the kind of grooming we have got from them and the family and our parents, of course. And uh, I thank our advisory and our parent mentor, Dr. J.H. Chaudhargaru here. Since day one of this journey, he has been a, a very, very, very strong uh, concrete pillar uh, for us, actually. You know, he never said no to any of our requests and all the experimentation we did till date and in the future, we'll have all his support. And, uh, you know, Dr. Rajit Rangnekar Garu, he's been, you know, that silent guiding force. Uh, we miss him today. I know he has some of the commitment and uh, we are actually very closely working with him towards getting this varsity, uh, you know, into a bigger shape uh, now and in the future. Dr. Bhaskar Talada Garu, Dr. Nandini Rangaswamy Garu and uh, Dr. Parashraman Garu, we will have them join our Future Scientist Forum, you know, in the future, you know, in the coming events. And they are going to head our climate action, our precision agriculture, and our health intelligence forums, and you know the new schools that I'll more you know speak about uh, in our next uh, few minutes. <coughs> so, Dr. J. H. Garu, I'll just take a minute to introduce him and his achievements and why his presence makes a lot of difference for me in person and for 6D Varsity as a team and as a mission. If you see his journey, Future Scientists Forum launch versus him, he started as a physics lecturer and then an ISRO scientist. And if you see the career graph from 80s, I mean the beginning of 80s, he was a research scientist at ISRO, BHL, and then moved into a bureaucratic role, STPI, the founding director of STPI, Bangalore, Hyderabad, all the high-tech story, high-tech city story that you see, just go get the details, that's it. And then a different turn altogether, portal player, NVIDIA, he was the CEO of NVIDIA, uh, you know, India. And today NVIDIA is the most valued company above Apple, above Google's and all the banks of the world, okay? So, and then from there, you know, 6D Varsity and, you know, a few other startups, you know, at least 100 plus startups would have been mentored by him in the last 10 years. And now, it concludes to another larger ecosystem, Indian uh, International Startup Foundation, where I think today, to my knowledge, at least 300 to 400 startups are being mentored. There's, you know, the kind of capital that flows in, the kind of guidance that flows in, the kind of go-to-market access that they get from uh, the forum. So you see the journey of a scientist turned bureaucrat, turned tech entrepreneur, and I should say more of an economic scientist, creating all these large-scale models. So thank you, sir, for joining us today. 
and and then i welcome dr uh, mahankali srinivas rao garu our guest of honor today t hub that we are here seated today you know in the for the first 5 years of t hub we have seen how it operated day one and all in the last 5 years after his uh, you know presence and all right it, he turned the tables for t hub you know at a, a different scale so the way we are seeing t hub phase 2 to all the programs and today this program as well thank you sir for all your efforts and you know uh, for placing hyderabad on the global stage and then uh, i also you know uh, want to introduce our guests who are going to follow uh, in some time dr uh, mr sanjeev uh, deshpande garu who is uh, uh, you know the ceo managing director of uh, entity data he'll uh, join us in some time and also dr uh, mr sai prasad garu who is the executive director of bharat biotech we know the covaxin story and uh, the kind of relentless effort their scientists and of course their you know the entire fraternity you know have put in our our partnerships have been extended with rich uh, the research and innovation circle of hyderabad dr rangnikar garu and dr sushmita sundar ji uh, who will be joining us in some time for the panel discussion today and we have been very closely working with them and thanks to all their support uh, that we get you know to get this event in place and also the future scientists forum As and then uh, a big time collaboration uh, thank you dr arthi for being here and uh, i want to introduce uh, tiny earth university of wisconsin uh, based uh, antibiotic discovery team and uh, it's it's a network it's a global network i should say and of antibiotic research crowdsourced or a student sourced antibiotic drug discovery and wisconsin institute of discovery is focused you know one of the focus areas is drug discovery and today 6 diversity is partnered with uh, university of wisconsin more specifically wisconsin institute of discovery with tiny earth team uh, we're going to throw more light on how this partnership is going to benefit you know uh, all the indian as well as you know the global uh, you know the future scientists as a whole so about uh, our schools of impact and purpose we have adopted you know a non ugc kind of a model unlike you know having a school of pharmacy or school of uh, engineering or any other formats of the school that we see we have adopted a schooling model called uh, you know school of impact and purpose so this is a multidisciplinary approach that uh, we have taken in uh, you know considered and we have experimented in the form of a special purpose vehicle soil which now converted into 6 diversity and the first uh, school of impact and purpose that we are going to float in collaboration with the University of Wisconsin and Tiny Earth is School of Antibiotic Research. We call it as 6D SOAR, S O A R, and we'll give more details about this as the session progresses. And uh, in the next few years, that is our mission 2030, is to establish School of Precision Agriculture, School of Climate Action, and School of Health Intelligence. These are the core problems. Are that the world is facing today so the global problem solving philosophy and you know that is you know very tightly integrated with the comp complex problem solving and uh, you know the, the scientific discovery being taking the you know the core uh, competency within our schools so this is where we are partnering with the global institutions we are partnering with the global industry selectively and the research bodies globally and bringing in this kind of expertise with respect to the mentorship with respect to the lab with respect to the curriculum and you know the delivery as a whole and which will have a direct impact on the talent the precision talent uh, that we are going to groom in the next few years uh, from the programs and how this talent is going to get placed into various formats of the industry as well as the governments and the research bodies and bring the wholesome change that we're all uh, you know anticipating across these areas. Sorry, so, Future Scientist Forum is all about grooming a million scientists in the next 25 to 30 years or maybe above. So it's a big, bigger vision and a bigger mission that we are working on. For the next three years, we are committed to creating around 10,000 scientific research community, a scientific workforce, industry readiness is what we are talking about. Okay, And here, we are going to work with different schools, colleges, universities across the world. We're going to establish 10 to 12 member chapters, local chapters, and each of these chapters, you know, will collaborate with the other chapters. And we, we did, if, if you have uh, heard our, uh, you know, previous meet and how we wanted to operate, our model is not a centralized model, rather we want to operate in a decentralized 
distributed decentralized model so we cannot anticipate the entire talent to be at one place so this is where we have chosen this method a platform a saas platform will help everyone collaborate everything so that's something you know where everyone will uh, start using the 6d platform and through which each of the chapter will host the students as well as the faculty and the competency building programs that's the future scientist programs that happens at level 1 level 2 and level 3 will be delivered at different locations the students faculty get to travel to the other locations they get to interact virtually there is community based learning there is peer to peer learning there is classroom learning there is laboratory based experimentation outside the word experiment you know experimentation as well which i think usha will add more lines to that so this learning the journey about learning you know is not about learning within the classroom so it is something that we are going to see you know in the nature we are going to travel to different places we are going to work in the world's best laboratories the biosafe which meets the best biosafety levels and all with respect to the drug discoveries and all and this is where uh, you know we are going to get the training providers you can see our you know the our partnerships as of date and this will continue to grow and our training methods as i mentioned you know all the cutting edge training methods the curriculum and everything and how we are connected is you know digitally enabled campus and orchestration and this is all about the future scientist forum